Hi everybody, this video is going to be about my AGM deep cycle batteries. I run my system in parallel and so I'm going to go over my 12 volt system. It is a 12 volt system and I'm using two 100 amp hour batteries. So what does that equal? Well if it's an AGM battery Two 100 amp hour batteries are going to equal only 100 amp hours. And so that's what I'm using on my system. Okay, everybody, I disconnected everything and I'm going to put the, my batteries in a smaller box and I'm going to rehook up the wiring. So I've already put my panels on top of my van and I will make a video showing how to make MC4 connectors. But what you end up is eventually the two wires coming down out of here. And there's more wires as you can see, but I'm talking about the two wires that are positive and negative coming, coming from the solar panels. And so I'm going to hook those up. And so let's start. Okay, so now I've uh, placed my tracer in my inverter where I want them. And now I'm going to screw them in. Okay, so if you're going to buy a solar controller, I recommend you buying an MPPT controller. And if you can, buy a 30 amp or a 50 amp controller. Okay, so I've screwed down the inverter, and now I'm going to hook it up. And that's what I'm going to go step by step on how I'm going to hook up my solar system. Okay, let's start. Okay. This is a 100 amp fuse. This is going to be for my inverter. And so I'm going to hook uh, my inverter up to the battery. And so um, this is the wire, the positive. And this is going to go to the battery. And I'm going to hook that up right now. But first, I have to put this uh, wire into this fuse. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm also using a 1000 watt inverter with a 2000 power surge and that's so I can use a microwave. That's the reason why I got an inverter. Now you might notice that people say you don't need an inverter but sometimes they're using a gas generator or they're using other, they have another means of operating but either way somewhere you're going to be using an inverter even if you buy a jacker Jackery, basically there's a small inverter built in there. So mine is only tied to a stronger system, a longer system, because I probably would burn out a Jackery in a couple of hours. Now, this video was done about three years ago. Um, I'm using basically breakers now, but this is when I was using fuses. And I use a 100 amp fuse between my inverter and the battery system and I run it on the positive side and then I have a 30 amp uh, fuse between my solar panels and the controller and then another 30 amp between the controller and the battery running on the positive side again so basically you'll be needing three fuses or three breakers, two 30 amps and 100 amp for this particular system. This is a very simple system. Okay, I've, I've done hooking everything up. Um, it's hard to hook, show you on the camera because I have to shut this lid and I want my wires as short as can be and I couldn't do the camera work and do it at the same time. You almost need two people to do that. So this is what it looks like and I'm going to try and draw and show the connections later. But everything is hooked up. 